What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be counting all of my WWE Action Figure Championship belts. So ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be doing a video that I did not only in 2018, but also 2019. I, every single year I love to make this video. It's very fun to go back through my collection of championship belts and count them up and see how many they've increased. You know, have we decreased any? See what the total number is. And we did this in 2018. We did it in 2019. So I had to do it in 2020. We always do it at the end of May or the beginning of June. I figure what better way than to kick off the end of our May here. We're about a week away from the beginning of June, but I wanted to get in here. I wanted to make the video, and we're going to count these up today. I'm super excited. I even wrote down all the total numbers over the past three years, so it's going to be really cool to see how they have varied. I got them written down over here. So as you guys can see over here, we do have them all written down, and uh, it's so crazy. I know we have some more championships that were, you know, coming out this year that I'll probably have to fill in over here, but here is the total number. In 2018, you guys can see we had 170, and then in 2019, we went up a whole 100 and seven total championships and I'm excited to see what we get for 2020 here but um, I'm, I'm excited man I can't wait to get into it last year the leader was the big gold world heavyweight championship at 30 so that will be interesting to see how much that goes up or goes down I cannot remember you know I just like to get the figures and I don't count them over the year I wait for this video to tally them all up so we will be doing that I'm excited to do it man so with that being said guys what we need to do is go ahead and sort this out I'm gonna put them in their own individual pot and then we will go through each championship, you know, talk about how many I have of that specific championship, go through all the piles, and at the very end of the video, we will tally them all up and take a look at how many total we had, and we'll see all the differences and see how we compare to 2019. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to shut the hell up and go ahead and sort these, and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, mercifully, I am finally done counting all of those championship belts. I always forget how long this shit takes, man. I swear to God, I sit down, I'm like, eh, hey, it won't take that long. And then you sort through them and count them and then write it down, and you're like, good God in heaven. I do have to mention that I did leave a couple out. There's like a couple on the shelf or something. There's like a North American title, two NXT tag team championships or something like that. But, uh, and we're missing like four Chase Money in the Bank briefcases. But let's just shut the hell up and get into it, guys. Let's start off with the big gold championships down here. The big gold championships last year came in at 30 this year somewhere i'm sure it's laying around somewhere we're at 29 so we we skipped one there's somewhere i don't know where the hell it went but we're sitting at 29 world heavyweight championships kind of ridiculous you guys know the classic story uh, i got on taobao old chinese website and they had the world heavyweight championship for like two dollars or one dollar or something and i ordered like 30 of them or something like that it was like 12 or something and i just took advantage of the deal and i stocked up on them moving forward guys we have the wwe championship the current day wwe championship Championship. Last year we sat at 18 and this year we are at 20 so we increased by two which is no surprise you know it's the main WWE championship it seems like they put this title in almost every series you know if you find a series every couple series this title is probably going to be found somewhere because they love to put it in there it's the current title it makes a lot of sense the US championship the United States championship guys last year came in at 24 this year it is at a whopping 32 championships 32 United States championships absolutely crazy I think they may play this one in a little bit more than the WWE Championship, but I think that is absurd uh, that I actually have 32 of the United States title. If we move over a little bit, guys, we have the Spinner, the WWE Spinner Championship, and I actually only have nine, and last year I had nine, so the last, actually three years, 18, 19, 20, I have had nine Spinner Championships. I don't know what that is. I don't know why that is the case, but um, yeah, that is, that is, we're stuck at nine for the WWE Spinner. As far as the white IC title, get the hell out of my way, Strap. As far as the white NXT or the white IC title, my bad NXT. What are you, a dumb jackass? The white Intercontinental Championship went up to 15 from 12, so we increased by 3, and it's kind of crazy because in 18 we had 3, so if you go 3 plus 12 equals 15 here in 2020. Raw Tag Team Championships stay at 20. It doesn't even look like 20. Like, looking from this perspective, does that look like 20 Raw Tag Team Championships? It is, and it's crazy because I only have like 6 of the SmackDown version, which makes no sense to me. I had 8 last year. I don't 
know where the other two are. They're probably laying around somewhere. I want to say I have a pair of Raw Tag Titles laying around somewhere as well, so that may be a little bit increased. But Universal Championships, moving on to the Universal Championship, I did plug the Blue Universal Championship into this as well. And last year we had 13. We are now up to 16. A number of figures came with this title as well. Moving forward, we have the Big Eagle Championship, the WWF title. I love this championship so much. And last year we had seven. This year we have 13, so I am very glad to increase that number. We got some Attitude Era, you know, the blue version from the Elite Stone Cold. We have uh, a custom in there from my boy Mac. Uh, we have we have some good WWF titles in there. Moving up, guys, we do have the Raw Women's Championship. And last year, I think we only had six. This year, we are up to eight, so that's cool that we increased that. But on the flip side of that, the SmackDown side of it, all the way up there at the top, only two of them. So that's kind of crappy. You have eight and then two. I don't know why, but uh, maybe we need to get more of that title. On the current Cruiserweight Championship, guys, last year we had six, increasing by seven to 13, which was a pretty big increase. I think it was the second most increase in championships next to the United States title. So 13 on the Cruiserweight title. On the World Tag Team Championships, we went from eight to 15, so an increase of 7 on that one. We already covered the SmackDown Tag Titles. Don't know why I have so little, man. It's kind of crazy. If we move on up, guys, we do have the old NXT Champion, or the old NXT Tag Titles, which stayed at 6 from last year. Last year, there were no North American Championships, and we went up to 5, so if you count the, well, we may have 6, actually. We have 6. We have 5 here, and then we have the one that is on display. So we have 6 North American Championships. We stayed at 5 with the 2013 WWE Championships, so we are still stuck at five here. European Championships also stayed the same. We stayed at five. Oval Intercontinental Championship, my personal favorite version of the Intercontinental Championship, stayed at seven from last year. It stayed the exact same. Penny Belts are at three. We stayed at three here. We stayed at ten dull championships. I'm not a big fan of the dull ones, but we do have ten of those in the collection. Old NXT Championship, I think we have seven, and that remained the same. SmackDown Tag Titles from the Ruthless Aggression Era also stayed at three. The Winged Eagle Championship went from five to six, and and that's only because of the Ghostbusters Championship, which I guess you could count as a winged eagle. So I went ahead and threw that in there. Rated R title stayed at four. I think all of these stayed the same, guys. Not a lot of increase over here. Two UK titles, five Jax titles, one Divas Championship that I don't think I had last year, one ECW Championship, I think four or five new NXT Championships, three Cruiserweights from the Ruthless Aggression. I actually have three of the new NXT Tag Title, but two of them are on display. Three Undisputed Championships, two Hardcores, one Internet Championship, one Alundra Blaze Women's Championship, two million dollar championships, two ECW Silver titles, one Smoking Skull, one Women's Championship, and then one Black IC. And then you do have your Money in the Banks down here. Custom Money in the Banks, all the different versions. Again, we are missing some Chase, you know, the, the ones that came with the basics, the smaller versions like these down here. I do have four more of those on display, so you can throw those in there if you want. And then here are my Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal trophies. I think there's three or four of those compared to two of last year. And then we have uh, just a random briefcase and a TJP Cruiserweight Championship no Network Spotlight medal. But then we have the custom championships, which are up here. Now, this is the Pick Fed Championships, things like that. All that's right here with the Money in the Bank briefcases. Such a beautiful collection of belts. This will always be my favorite part of the collection. And then you have these custom championships up here. You have, you know, just different customs 24 7. Brahma Bull, the Women's Tag Titles, the AEW Championship. IWGP Championship, Horror Championship, just a bunch of custom belts up here, and the custom belt. So the custom belt stayed the same at 29. Now, guys, are you ready for the total tally? Of course, let me get it in frame right here, but not showing it. So in 2018, we had 170. In 2019, we had 277. And in 2020, go ahead and comment your predictions down below, guys. Go ahead and comment. Three, two, one. 326. I know the two's a little effed up. We don't judge the, the two there. We don't judge him, man. He's doing his own thing. 326 championship title belts over the years. So we had an increased total of around 50. It was 49 total increase, which is not as much as last year. Last year we went over the 100 mark, so I guess I'm doing a little bit better not stocking up on championships or something. But I always have a ton of fun making this video, you know, finding out how many titles we have, even though it takes me an ass load of time to do. Maybe I can cut down on the time next year or something, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below how many championship belts you have in your collection. What do you think of the collection of belts here? Let me know everything down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.